One of the protesters at the Capitol last Wednesday was Adam Newbold, a former Navy SEAL from Lisbon. He runs a company called Advanced Training Group Worldwide, which consults for federal agencies, law enforcement, and the military. First News anchor Stan Boney talked today with Newbold. He's live in the newsroom with what he was told. Well, Dave, Adam Newbold says he did not go through the Capitol. He says he was outside, at the doorway, and on the stairs. Newbold believes the system of American government is broken, that the presidential election was fraudulent. But that broken system, he says, has elected a new president. He's supportive of the country, and he is still an American. Now, this was New Bold 10 years ago, talking about, as a Navy SEAL about the search for Osama bin Laden. New Bold is now 45, and Navy officials say he is retired. After he left the Capitol last Wednesday, he posted a video in social media in which he said in part, and I am quoting New Bold, it was historic. It was necessary, and the reason I say I'm proud of Americans is because I wasn't sure if we still had the spine anymore. Now I see that it exists. Now, Newbold told me that he did attend the speech that President, Gut President Trump gave on that Wednesday, and then he marched to the Capitol as well. He says he was not armed, and he would not condone anyone carrying a weapon in Washington, D.C. He says he never heard anyone chant, hang Mike Pence or say that they were looking for Nancy Pelosi. He says he learned all about that later. Now, Newbold says, quote, I spent most of my time trying to de-escalate a largely volatile and potentially deadly situation. I stood with the police officers. I told rioters to stand down. I asked at what point did he think they had gone too far? Newbold answered, I thought that only after we left Washington, D.C., my initial thought when I heard the Capitol had been breached was one of rage. How dare they attack our Capitol? The assertion that I or anyone with me had the intent to commit sedition or to overthrow the government is absolutely absurd. I feel I have stood strongly for the government, the president, and the Constitution. Now, Newbold told me he has been interviewed by the FBI, and he also told ABC News that he is cooperating with the FBI. Live in the newsroom, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.